I'm going to start by folding my fabric in half with the right sides facing each other. Next step, I'm going to take my math book and I'll place it on the fabric and then I will trace around it. And after tracing, then I will add half an inch allowance on all sides and then I will cut. The next step is cutting out our lining and I went ahead and placed my main fabric on my lining which is folded in half and then I cut all around it. I went ahead and pinned the sides together and we're going to sew along this side, this side and this side and we're going to repeat the same exact step for our lining. And we are going to be sewing with a 3 8 of an inch sewing allowance. After sewing, the next step is going to be trimming down the excess allowance on both fabrics. We are now going to turn our lining inside out, pushing in the little corners and then we are going to place it inside our main fabric like so, with the right sides facing each other. I'm going to pin all around to keep the two fabrics in place as we go to the next step. For the next step, we're going to determine where we'll be placing our elastic band and we will do that by folding this in half and then mark. Then we are going to take our elastic band and cut about 4 inches long and when folded in half it will be 2 inches. Then we're going to place this in between our main fabric and lining like this. And then we are going to pin this elastic band in place and after that we will sew all around leaving about a 2 inch space so that we can be able to turn it inside out. And we will be sewing this with a 3 8 of an inch allowance. After sewing we are going to be turning this inside out through that opening that we left. After we are done turning it inside out, we are going to be putting our lining in our main fabric like so and then make sure that you push out the little corners like we did before. This is how our pouch looks so far. Next we are going to be top stitching this and also we will sew down the little opening that we left before. And our last step is going to be sewing our button in place and we're going to do this by stretching our elastic band to where we want our button to be and then we will place our button and trace around. And guys, I just realized that I placed the camera on the wrong side so you guys cannot really see what I'm doing and I do apologize for that. Anyway, now we are going to be taking our thread and needle and then we are going to be sewing our button in place like so. And that's it for this project.
and this is the results of this project and I do love the way it turned out. I do hope you guys enjoyed this project and subscribe if you want to see more videos. Anyway, thank you so much guys for watching and God bless. Bye.